What up, gang? This is Ken Zerk, Ken Zilling, and Nagito was stolen. Ken Zerk, Ken Zilling, and Zika Milling, and the villain feeling Trilligan, and we are back on Dongan Rafa 2 Goodbye Despair. We are now. Man, I'm remembering. Nagito died. He really died. And now here we are with the class trial to find out who. All right! Find out who did it. Let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. Oh, if you can tell, I'm at my dad's house right now. I'm house sitting the house while him and my little brother are at out at um Oglethorpe. So I'm finna be as loud as I want, and I'm in the living room where the lights good and the table's good. You feel me? Hold on. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. Oh my, Monami, my cute little sister, you're awfully quiet. What's happened to you? You've ascended the ladder of adulthood and reached the moon? Because you're a rabbit? What's up with her? Yes, no. Dang, all right. Oh, she ain't say nothing. All right, so she really she really saw it now. Like she said, I'm gonna stop with this little gimmick. Like we really fighting now. He hit a persona. Hold on, he really whooping on her. She ain't say a single thing. Hold on, Monokuma, you might be in trouble. It's useless. Please stop. I feel bad for Monomi. Sonya, never mind. First L. You're right. Now is not the time for me to horse around with Monomi. The class trial has started after all. The victim this time is Nagito who was attempting to reveal the traitor for everyone's sake. Who in the world killed him? I'm so curious. You know who did it. If he was killed for trying to reveal the traitor. It was probably the traitor. That traitor is obviously the killer. They were trying to shut Nagito up. Or maybe either the traitor is the killer or it was somebody who was trying to get him to stop the bonds by torturing him. I, I gave Sonny my, my little, my, my theories already, but I'm gonna give you to y'all. First, Sonya might be the killer because it's kind of suspicious how she, all that time she was gone. But I feel like that's obvious, so I don't really think that, you know? But that's, that's the very obvious and first suspicion. Second, I think they're trying to bamboozle us. If this turn... You know, I, I, I had, I had, I, I said a quote while I was talking to him. I don't remember it, but it was something about like, you know, sometimes to find the truth, you like, you got to reach for it, you know, you know, reaching or overthinking. Like sometimes to find the truth, you got to reach for it, right? And I'm about to reach like crazy. Like I'm about to, I'm about to reach more than Wilt Chamberlain. You feel me? I, I think those fire bombs, remember I was talking about like somebody must have replaced them with gasoline. I'm thinking instead, somebody put the poison inside those fire bombs so that when the poison was burned, the poison, it got gassed up and that is what actually killed Nagito. So that means everybody besides the traitor or including the traitor, I don't remember the, whoever the traitor was, they might have died him in there, I don't know. But everybody had a hand in killing Nagito. So at that point, it's really either kill everyone or pick a sacrifice. And remember, you know how the, the chapters are kind of lining up in a way? I feel like they're gonna try and do that by having not Hajime raise his hand up and offer to be the sacrifice. And the sacrifice or the scapegoat in a similar way, Monokuma desperately tried to get Kyoko to be the scapegoat and sacrifice to hide his own crime. But um, Makoto covered for Kyoko, making him the scapegoat. You know? And putting him on trial for execution. You feel me? I feel like that's how they're gonna try and parallel it. 
And also, if y'all were paying attention, you know, during the investigation, trial, and even like the chapter four, we were playing as Nagito. There was a lot of talk about sacrifice and there was a lot of talk about sacrifice and even another thing that kind of makes me think about that when when before we actually threw the fire bombs, which probably had the poison in them, the, everybody wanted everybody wanted to kill Nagito for the most part. So I feel like that was like a clever foreshadow to the fact that we all did actually technically kill Nagito together. But that's just a theory, a game theory. We're gonna find out what actually happens. No, that might not be it. Oh. Huh? Are you trying to protect the traitor? They didn't call out when we were in danger. Wait. Don't tell me you're the traitor. I'm down for you, Heiko. Don't say something so stupid. There's no way in hell I'm the traitor. <laughs> now that's more like it. Why don't you guys hurry and start arguing already? The traitor and the killer who murdered Nagito. Here, right? Are they the same person? Or... Man, honestly, I'm so lost here. I have no idea at all what actually went down. The killer didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut him up. Okay. I'm telling you, they were torturing him. Possible. The reason Nagito's body was covered with wounds. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. Okay, I agree with that. So that's why he was so beat up. How do I play again? What were they trying to find out by torturing him? Definitely the bomb's hiding place. If so, the suspect is whoever found the bomb first. Fuyuhiko? Fuyuhiko. I found it by coincidence. Did you though? There's no way I'd torture someone. You're Yakuza. I don't believe that. Why did the killer have to torture Nagito? No, were the wounds on Nagito's body really caused by torture in the first place? The killer didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut him up. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. Huh? No, Wait, that works? Th that's wrong, I guess. How does a Nagito's duct tape refute that? With duct tape, so he wouldn't have been able to. Oh him. yes, that's right. His mouth was covered with duct tape, so it really, he wouldn't be able to confess in the first place. So that was just murder. If he was being tortured for information, they wouldn't have taped his mouth like that. That's so right. I'm prepared. Okay. Ah, I just realized it. It's a trap. A trap? Stupid Hajime. You got caught in that trap. What? Stupid? What is her issue? Oh my goodness, why is there so much? Like you said, if Nagito's mouth was taped shut, you obviously assume he couldn't talk, right? But that was the trap. He wanted to hide the fact that he got interrogated. I can't back down. Well, I don't know which. All right. What if you tape his mouth shut? How is he supposed to answer anything? Exactly. Pay attention. This is how first the killer tortured Nagito and got information. Then after they killed him. Damn it! Tortured Nagito. That was the trap. I can only imagine it being the duct tape, cause like. I can't back down. But at the same time. I don't know. I don't see why. I would use it twice in a row. That's my only thing. I don't see why I would use it twice in a row, but I'm gonna give it a shot anyway. It's the only thing that really makes sense. Why? Why do you have me using it twice in a row? No, there's no doubt Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape before he was beat up. What did you say? There's no blood around his mouth. Might as well settle this with rock, paper, scissors. We don't need to play a game. It's clear the duct tape was on his ah. mouth before the torture even began. Why do you always cite the crunchy man? You have a crush on him or something? Are you in elementary school or something, little guy? 
You were with us when I peeled the duct tape off Nagito's mouth, right? The blood on Nagito's face wasn't under the duct tape, remember? The blood on his face came from his arm wounds. Which means the duct tape was on his face before his arms were even wounded. Yeah, so this was just a straight up murder. And the duct tape had a lot of crinkles around his mouth. He must have been struggling to open his mouth under the duct tape. Perhaps the duct tape was used so he wouldn't be able to scream. Then it's like I said at the beginning. The tape wasn't for torture. It was to keep his mouth shut. However, if they wanted to seal his mouth, they did not need to hurt him with such ferocity. They probably had a deep grudge against Nagito. Then, are you saying the killer was trying to make him suffer? If so, it's freaking crazy. Did they go psycho or something? They must have went psycho or something. No, they didn't just go crazy. Whoever did this must be one crafty bastard. If not, they wouldn't have taken the time to set fire to the crime scene and destroy all the evidence. Hmm? The warehouse fire was for destroying evidence? I can't think of any other reason. But who could have done that? When the fire occurred, everyone in this room was gathered in front of the warehouse. I don't see you, Sonya. And right after I opened the warehouse door, the flames started burning from the very back. Which means, it is plausible to think that nobody here set the fire. The killer isn't one of us. But that's not the case, huh? I mean, it's wishful thinking. Even if it was only a coincidence, the timing was just too perfect. They wanted us to see that. Based on the pattern up until now, we should suspect that some kind of setup was used for this. Some kind of setup? Like what? I... I do not know that. But that has been the pattern before. That's our Miss Sonya. You have such an amazingly high intellect. Shut up, Kazuichi Soda. Alrighty then. Let's think about this based on what Miss Sonya thinks. Damn right it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. The reason for the fire, huh? They're right. We need to clear that up first. Yes. The killer used some kind of setup. He lit the curtain on fire with the lighter. Some kind of setup? Did they use the oil as an improvised fuse? They probably just threw the lighter. Based on the shape of that oil lighter, it can stand upright while the flame is lit. If they tipped over the lighter in some way, it could have ignited the curtain. Some way? Maybe they used invisible thread. There should have been a way to tip it over with sound waves. Or perhaps opening the door caused intense wind pressure to tip over the lighter. The direct cause of the house opening the door caused. Yeah, I, yeah, I got it. I also agree that opening the door is what started the fire. Just as I thought, it was the wind pressure. A no. dust devil blown here from glorious Japan. No. No, not wind pressure. They probably used the Monokuma panels. A huge number of tipped over Monokuma panels were found at the crime scene, right? It looked like they were scattered everywhere. But some were laying on top of each other in a single line. Just a single line leading from the warehouse door to the fire's origin. Does that mean anything? The killer probably arranged those Monokuma panels to create a domino effect. A domino effect? You mean those tiles kids play with by lining them up and tipping them over? In place of those tiles, the killer used the Monokuma panels. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So when we opened the warehouse door, the first panel toppled into the second. And from there, they fell like dominoes until they reached the lighter at the end. But wouldn't it be obvious that those big panels were falling over? That's probably why they turned off the lights in the warehouse, so we wouldn't notice them. So the reason the warehouse was dark was to hide the domino effect. 
And one more thing. There was something else the killer did to hide the domino effect, right? Music, maybe? I see. Yeah. You're talking about the MP3 player, right? That him blaring throughout the warehouse masked the sound of the falling panels. Inside of the warehouse felt even darker because... Disgusting. Felt even darker because our eyes were still so used to the bright sunlight outside. Then that darkness allowed high hymnal blare throughout the warehouse at full volume. Did you guys hear something? Yeah, that's when the fire started. That's it. So the strange sound was actually the sound of the panels falling. But those sounds weren't the only strange thing, right? Looking back on it, it was also strange when we opened the door to the warehouse. Yeah, and it wouldn't open, so she had to kick it open. Alright, shut up, shut up. I get it, I get it, I get it. You have to use force. You couldn't open this hole, so you had to kick it. So the door was being blocked by a Monokuma panel. And when we opened the door, the domino effect started, and the falling panels eventually reached the lighter. Yeah, and that's how the warehouse caught on fire. At least, that's how it looks. You don't look so sure. At the time, Akane mentioned that she could barely open the door. Because the panel was blocking it, right? I doubt a panel is that heavy. But the blocked doorway... There wasn't enough space for a person to fit through, right? Is that a problem? How did the killer get out? It's a major problem. I mean, that door was the only entrance to the warehouse. If that door was the only entrance, and how did the killer escape? was so close to the door that it could barely be opened. The killer inside the warehouse wouldn't be able to leave, right? Now that you mention it. Does that mean they were hiding inside? Who? We were all outside the warehouse, you know. B based on the patterns up until now, I believe some kind of setup was used. You don't have to think so hard. There's actually only one person who could have possibly done this. Nagito. You don't mean... But if that's true... This murder. Um, Hajime? What do you mean? The person who set up the domino effect inside the warehouse. There's only one person who could have done that. Nagito, right? This is my answer. What if it was Nagito? Why'd you bring him up? He's the victim, you know. He wasn't just the victim. Maybe. Why would he do that, though? Huh? Not just the victim? What does that mean? He was the victim. And he was the perpetrator, too. Maybe. Are you saying this was a suicide? D don't be stupid. His body was covered in torture wounds. Or did you already forget? Are you saying those were all self-inflicted? But Nagito might do something like that, don't you think? That's not the issue. He was tied up, remember? Even for a creep like Nagito, it'd be impossible for him to tie up his own arms and legs. Yeah, you're right. Y yeah as long as you understand. It seems we need to discuss how Nagito was able to tie himself up. I mean, it wouldn't be too hard. I mean, you'll have two free hands to tie up your both of your legs. And then you'll have one free hand to tie up your other arm. And plus, you know, you could tie, you know, you could tie up a rope around the, the this arm. And then, you know, we already know that the other one was burnt. We know one of the arms was free because the rope was burnt off, right? So he probably just had that free hand and tied up the other one, made it look like the free hand was just burnt off, and it wasn't actually made to be like that. If we want to talk about how he tied himself up, then that that's it right there. I just solved it. 
Case closed. All sick. N need to discuss? That's not necessary at all. No matter how much you think about it, it's clearly impossible. Is it though? Like you said, it seems impossible if you think about it, but I feel like I'm overlooking something. Huh? 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 Burned rope. That's gonna be it right there. Burned rope. To actually Probably. tie up your own arms and legs. That's obviously impossible. Is it though? Tying just the legs is one thing, but tying both arms would be impossible. You couldn't do much with the free arm. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. How about if you use your teeth? Or if you use your front tail? Front tail? Dirty joke! Is that a dirty joke? As far as assumption that Nagito committed suicide is correct, Nagito should have tied himself up too. It's okay, right? I'm pretty sure it's burned low, but... I tried it, didn't I? To actually tie up your own arms and legs. That's obviously I'm, I'm about to shoot you, bro. I'm, I'm about to try. I'm, I'm a tr oh, I, I could have shot it right there. I don't know. I'm going to just try and burn rope again. Oh, I hate everything that exists. It's always when I... Hold on a sec. Isn't that premise flawed? What? I mean, it's no mistake that his arms and legs were not both. No, it shouldn't have been both of his arms. That's what I was saying. I didn't know what to shoot though, but that's what I was saying. The rope on his right arm was completely burnt up. Based on that, you can't say he was tied up. That was just burned by the fire. He should have been tied up before then. It burned because of the fire. Like you said, it might look like that. But that was part of the trap. There's concrete evidence that proves it. Proof that it was. A lighter? His right sleeve? I don't get it. Take a close look at his right sleeve. Okay. Even though the rope was burnt up, his sleeve wasn't burned at all. Wouldn't you agree? Okay. A burn like this, no matter how you think about it, is unnatural. But why is that important here? How would that change it? That rope was burned in advance, so it would look like it was burned in the fire. That's why. Okay, that makes sense. Nagito's right arm wasn't tied up, right? He was able to move it freely, right? Yeah, that should be the case. Hajime, that's awesome! I'll let you cop a feel if you want. W! Akane, you should not give it away for free. Make sure they pay you first. Sonya, I need you to get out of here, bro. Like, you... Another second Sonya L of the day? Holy crap, you're racking them up. That's definitely wrong. Fine. I just gotta get a Benjamin from him before I let him touch me, right? I'll give you a Lincoln. That's not what I meant. I'm and then we can get to Lincoln? Hold on. Oh, what? I mean, even if his right hand wasn't tied up, the knife was still stabbed into it, you know? It's impossible to stab a knife into your right hand with your right hand. Ah, that much is obvious. Is it really though? Hajime, you, you tricked me. Give me back that Benjamin. Not only did she try to charge me, now she wants the money back. What the freak? Hold on. There should be a way. Then hurry up and spill it. Let me think. If it's something lame, I'll make you give back the Benjamin with 10,000% interest. Way to stab yourself in the right hand using your right hand. Definitely an answer to that. What if you stand up the knife? Like, st like take the knife and stand it up? Even if Nagito's right hand was free, how could he stab his right hand with his right hand? That was an accident. What is blood on girder? That, I don't know. Ooh, maybe he had a Monokuma plushie, right? He put the knife inside the plushie and he just said, 
you know, inside that hole, and he was like, ah! And that's why all that blood is on there. You know what? That's what I'm going with. And let the knife fall. No, you're stupid. Could he stab his hand that way? Is he a throwing knife expert? Ooh, he might be. Maybe he propped the knife somehow? Yes, sir! That's my goat! A life-size Monokuma plushie. He must have used that to prop the knife. It makes sense. That's why there was a big hole in the plushie's stomach. Yes, sir! There's my goat! into that hole to prop it up. Then he slammed his hand onto it. If that's it, he had to place the plushie near him. And it also explains the mysterious blood on the plushie. So the blood on the plushie came from Nagito after he stabbed the knife into his own right hand. I... I see. So that's the trick. But for a moment, I seriously thought Monokuma died or something. A bleeding plushie is super scary! It's got the same fear factor as a doll whose hair grows too long! After stabbing his hand, he no longer needed the plushie, so he cast it off toward the fire's origin point. He probably thought the fire would incinerate it and destroy the evidence. So what do you think now, Fuyuhiko? I get what you're saying about the wound on his right hand, but there's still one huge problem. They're staring at a cop. Spear. <laughs> Shut up. Basically, you're saying Nagito committed suicide by impaling himself with a spear, right? If you think about the order, getting killed by the spear should have been the last thing to happen to Nagito. You must be stupid. He had that propped up on top of the girder or whatever it's called. If that's true, how is that possible? That explains that little empty point right there of blood and that and the blood on the girder. He had it tied up. And it, and it had it, he made it drop on him. He can't grab a spear with his right hand if a knife is stabbed into it and his left hand was all tied up. Then he probably took the spear first, and as he endured the pain, he stabbed the knife into his right hand. There is a limit to his constitution. If you got penetrated by something so big and thick, you would die instantly. I'm sorry, but... Didn't catch all that. Asuichi, calm yourself. Like I said, if you got penetrated by something so big and thick, you would die instantly. Ah, say it one more time. We need to record it. For a reason. Ch Yo! Master, you better cut it out. Like she said, in that condition, it's very difficult to stab yourself with a spear. It'd be hard to use a spear with a knife stab into your right hand while your left hand is tied up. So you're saying it's impossible. But no matter what I think, I can't believe Nagito's death was caused by someone else. I also agree with that. To think that one of us could kill someone with such cruelty, I could never believe that. You say you can't believe it? <laughs> you just don't want to believe it, right? Yo, shut up, penis licker. But that's why you keep getting betrayed over and over again, right? Same goes for this time, too. You just shut your mouth. It's against the rules to interfere with everyone. Where did your wounds go? If you even think about doing anything, I have a plan of my own. <laughs> Mamonomy sassing me. But it's just as Monokuma said. We've been betrayed over and over again so far, so this might also be the same. Calling this a suicide takes too much for granted, and it's too convenient. And are you saying there is a killer among us, Kazuichi? Uh, of course that doesn't include Miss Sonia and me. As Kazuichi said, it's true we've been constantly betrayed. Yes. But even if I'm betrayed again, I still want to believe in everyone. Okay, Makoto. No matter how many times I may be betrayed, I still want to believe in everyone. All right, Nayagi. I also want to believe that there's no killer, but suicide is unimaginable. Do you really think so? But you said it too. It'd be impossible for him to stab himself with a spear in his condition. I did say difficult, but I never said impossible. Huh? I feel that there's some way he could have stabbed himself with that spear. What kind of way? I don't know. 
<laughs> I don't know. You don't know. It's impossible to figure out by myself. So let's think about it together. That's how we made it this far up till now. Fact! She is spinning! Everyone working, working together. together. Uh-huh. She's right. We made it through several ordeals up till now by doing that. Then even now. Alright, let's do this. Put on. All right, let's do it. I really like Hajime's voice. I kind of miss Makoto's voice, though. I'm not going to lie. As much as I hated it, I kind of miss it. stab himself with a spear? Let's work together and think this through. Shut up. His right hand was covered by the knife, right? Yes. He was only able to move his left hand. But his left hand was also tied up. And that rules out his left hand. If that's the case, the only other way is... He used his teeth? Or maybe he used his front tail? Yo! I know guys have tails that get hard when they're grabbed. What are you saying? Huh. I'm flushing this Sony is freaking awesome! Grab my, you can grab him. Ah, stop! Not just looking at me to suicide. He must have used that spear to stab him. Even if his arms and legs were tied up, there's no doubt some part of his body. I think he could have used it. How did he able to put his left hand was off? And that rules out his left hand. No, no you're no. wrong! Hold on. It's still too early to dismiss the possibility that he used his left hand. Why? I mean, his left hand was tied up, you know. But there was something off about his left hand. The blood stain on the palm of his hand. Don't you think it looked somewhat strange? He only had blood on the lower area of his palm. Beyond that point, the blood stain suddenly cuts off, right? When the blood splattered, that's as far as it reached, right? No. That settles the description of that blood stain. But it's not the only unnatural blood stain. Look, there's blood on the back of his hand. Like you said, okay. it looks like an unnatural blood stain, but what's wrong with that? We might need to think and use our imaginations for a bit. If there's blood on his palm and the back of his hand, what was his left hand doing as the blood splattered? Gripping something. Gripping! I see! When the blood splattered, he was probably gripping with his left hand. That's why there's such a strange looking blood stain on his palm and the back of his hand. Was he grabbing his front tail? He might have been yerking it, Akane. Here's the thought. He was obviously grabbing the spear. Now that you mention it, compared to the rest of his body, the wounds on his left arm are pretty mild. He probably made his wounds mild on purpose so he could keep his strength while he gripped the spear. But even if he held the spear with his tied up left hand, it'd be impossible for him to stab himself. Right, that's the problem. Hey, Chiaki, what do you think? Hey, don't tell me you're getting sleepy. At times like this, you should always strike from a good angle. Just like fixing an old TV. That's how you do it. You just gotta hit it. Literally, just hit it. Oh, I got it. Maybe. Really? Yeah, like I thought, it's no mistake that Nagito was gripping the spear, I think. However, what's important is what section of the spear he was gripping. Maybe he was gripping the shaft. Crap. The shaft is the part that's close to the blade right or am i wrong am i wrong the, the shaft is the part that's close to the blade right hold on let me see i'm, I'm sure he was gripping the part close to the blade so that he would have enough space to be like uh, uh you feel me Ooh, or maybe it was strung up on the girder, like I said, 
but it was strung up in a way where all he would have to do is pull on the tug on the rope a little bit and it would come falling down. Because we do know that there's a part on the cord right there actually, where um, there's a, a fist of a, a fist, a, a, a fist. Shut up! That's it. Instead of the handle, Nagito must have been holding on to the cord. There was a metal weight at the tip of the cord, but there were bloodstains on that part too. Plus, the joint between the weight and the cord had a bloodstain shape like it was cut off by something. Isn't the size of that cut off section about the same size as a human fist? Ah, oh, you're right. So this is the part Nagito was gripping, huh? And then the blood that was supposed to end up here ended up getting on Nagito's left hand. But why is it so important to know which part of the spear he was gripping? You're not gonna say he gripped the tip of the cord, swung the spear around and stabbed himself, right? That is where the clue to solve this mystery resides. Right, Chiaki? I am sorry. Of course this mystery will not be solved that easily. Nagito was gripping the cord extending from the butt of the spear with his left hand. But from there, how would he stab himself? Hmm. Hmm. It seems we are stuck. Shall we have tea time? Tea time, tea time, tea time. Tea time like I got a cut. Hold on, hold on. Tea time, tea time, tea time. Tea time like I'm with Sonya, never mind. Tea time like I'm moving with, never mind. Tea time, I told that girl, never mind. I told her, never mind. It boy, it's my time. I feel like I'm finna go like LeBron. Boy, I feel like I'm the king of LeBron. Boy, I feel like I'm gonna go get a dime. Like TV producers, we We get in the time. Hold on. Hold on, oh my goodness, what was I talking about, bro? I, 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 hold on. At a time like this, how about we stick to the plan to think one step at a time instead of expecting the answers all at once. Excuse you? That's a long plan name. Yeah. One step at a time. What does that mean? Let's focus on the spear first. Namely, where it was and how it was positioned just before it impaled Nagito. Uh-huh. How it was positioned. Nagito was facing up and a spear was stabbed through his stomach. This just before that. That's it, could it be? The state of the spear and the fact that Nagito was holding the tip of the cord attached. But put those together and think about it, I should be able to figure it out. Where the spear was and what state it was in before it stabbed Nagito. Logic dive. Hold on. Uh, it's a logic dive, so I gotta, uh. Work so fucking much, my greatest fear is I'ma die alone. Through the sticks, who the riding with me, man, the devil trying to get me motivated, undereducated, and hated, but finally get it, kicked like a heavy belated, I made it, we young. Futuristic, so simplistic, please aside from my language, you cock licker. The ceiling girder. And now be blowing up like spontaneous, yes, you with combustion. I, I, I might have dragged that on a bit too long. Y'all, I apologize for. Uh, we do when the logic dive. They finna die. I'm finna dive in a pool of some alcohol. Man, I feel like I'm drinking rubbing alcohol. Man, I feel like it's just alcohol. I want some hoes. We finna go and post up like Shaq. Like Shaq kill O'Neal. I'm finna get the bills. I'm finna, I, I'm driving on hot wheels. If I connect to both the here in the, the court. I'm feeling like Hot Wheels. Your girl's in my Hot Wheels. We driving through the city. You know I got the 50s. You know I'm getting busy. Hold it's on. all coming together. It's all coming together. We're all gonna come together, right guys? The spear impaled Nagito as he was laying face up. It must have been perpendicular to him just before that. I apologize for the way that I'm acting right now. It is it is 1017 and I am a little tired. So I've kind of got that night time on the game theater where I just say perpendicular. If Nakito did that all by himself, did he have some sort of ESP? No. No. You're stupid. That'd be awesome, but 
He probably used the ceiling girder directly above him. Thank you, Shiaki. I love you. Agito probably slung the cord over the ceiling girder, and using that as a support, he hoisted the spear directly above him. And if Nagito let go of the cord, the spear would have fallen and impaled him while he was laying face up. I noticed a slight red streak on the ceiling girder. It probably got smeared there during the setup. The blood on the cord probably rubbed off on the ceiling girder as the spear was falling. So, how about it? Using this method, Nagito could have impaled himself with the spear. This is... He really committed suicide? Like that? But what I want to know is why did he commit suicide? He probably chose that spear so he could commit suicide like that. If someone else did this, there's no reason they'd go to all this trouble just to kill someone with a spear. I agree. When I was investigating this case, I kept thinking over and over how strange it was. Why did the killer use the knife and the spear so differently? So you're saying he needed to use that spear to pull off his trick? Then, this is for real? He really committed suicide? But why? Every single wound on his body. That was all him? Not just that. He did all that while he was gripping a spear? G, G and G for that, I gotta admit. Like, that's, that's some gangsta grizzel. Spear should not have stabbed Nagito until the very end. Which means Nagito wounded himself while he was gripping that spear, right? Did he put the duct tape on his mouth too? He was probably in a lot of pain. He didn't want anybody to find out what he was doing. So we duct tape his mouth shut. He probably covered his own mouth so we wouldn't hear him screaming in pain. Did he need to go that far? That's beyond crazy. Why would he do that to himself? He was probably trying to get us to make a mistake. By committing a suicide that looked like a murder, he was trying to steer us toward the wrong answer. His goal was to get us all executed. Uh, I don't believe that. I genuinely don't believe that. Jeez, and I was starting to feel a little sympathetic toward him. How stupid of me. I completely underestimated his capacity for malice. A mind-boggling malice that threatens us even after he died. That's the form his malice took. I've forgotten all about it until now. If he was here now, he'd probably be sneering. However, there is one thing I still do not understand. He said he would reveal the traitor, right? Whatever became of that? He was probably planning to kill the traitor along with the rest of us. So why did he not just do that in the first place? If he had no qualms with killing everyone, he did not have to cause a bomb scare to reveal the traitor. I bet the bomb scare was part of the strategy behind this trick. He made us split up and search for a bomb so none of us would have an alibi. He created a scenario where any of us could have killed him. He tried to make us doubt each other. He tried to hide the truth behind his suicide. Did he cause a bomb scare for that reason alone? He's a fucking bastard who killed himself for his delusions of grandeur. It's not that unthinkable. You are right, I suppose. Yeah, it appears we've come to a conclusion. I don't know. Bastard Nagito committed suicide. It was all done by him so we'd be executed. Hmm, that should be okay, right? You're not satisfied yet? Hey, Akane's gut! It hasn't been wrong yet! No, I agree that Nagito killed himself, but... I feel like there's something that doesn't make sense. It's probably just my imagination. Out with it. Why? I mean, I sort of understand what she's talking about. I don't think it's a mistake to assume that Nagito committed suicide, but... Why do I feel so uneasy about it? Because we don't know who the traitor is, or... So what are you gonna do? Is it okay to proceed with the voting time? No! What do you think, Akane? Well, there's no doubt Nagito's death was a suicide. 
Oh well, I guess my gut is wrong sometimes. You are right. It is not as though we can draw any other conclusion. Then it's okay to end it here. No, you're wrong! That means we're done with this last class trial and we can leave this island, right? No, you're wrong! It's okay to read such a happy ending, right? Then it's okay? It's okay to say, you decided on the killer? Understood. Then voting time. No, hold on a sec. <laughs> uh, hold on? Why? Sorry, just a little more. I want you guys to wait just a little more. I can't help but feel like there's still something we overlooked. Like who the traitor is? But the issue here is who killed Nagito, right? Even if we identify the traitor, the conclusion won't change. That's true, but... The mystery isn't just about who the traitor is. Huh? No matter how you look at it, Nagito's death is a suicide. But... I'm a little worried, you know? I'm worried about starting the voting time while there's still a mystery. Hey, what do you mean it's not about who the traitor is? What kind of mystery is left? There's just one thing that doesn't make sense, and it relates to Nagito's death. Plus, it's something even Nagito couldn't influence. He couldn't even tamper with the evidence for it. Related to Nagito's death, something that he couldn't have messed with. You're gonna keep going? From here, I thought we were finally finished. What could it be? Give me evidence that even he could have messed with. I'm so lost. I'm so freaking lost. I am so lost. Holy crap. I see. The what? The Monokuma file? Is it about the Monokuma file? Wait, what's wrong with it? Wait, what's wrong with the Monokuma file? Yeah, that's it. Something suspicious in the Monokuma file? Uh, hey, apparently! Let's find out! The victim is Nagito Komaeda. The body was discovered inside the warehouse near the Monokuma plushie factory. Estimated time of death is believed to be in the dark. Not only is there a spear stabbed in the stomach, multiple stab wounds, incarceration, left arm, knife and pale. This is part of the monochrome file that she's worried about. I don't know. I don't know. Time of death. I, don't, I, I figured it out pretty freaking fast. Holy crap. Cause of death. Holy crap, bruh. It's so chaotic. I can't. What the heck? I, I just don't know what's going on. What like what is up with this spike in difficulty? I say my best bet is to just be quick with it. It's just be quick with it. Just be quick with it. Yep, just be quick with it. Oh, it doesn't say the cause of death on there. In this particular case is Monokuma file. There's no specific cause of death. Yo, was my theory of us being the killers right? Not only is there a spear stabbed in his stomach, there are also multiple stab wounds on his thighs. Larceration, you know, but there's no actual cause of death. Isn't that weird? Until now, the files always specified the cause of death. That means the cause of death is important. If we knew what the cause of death was, we would immediately know who the killer is. Of death is obvious, is it not? The spear in Nagito's stomach. It is obvious just by looking at it that it was a cause of death. Maybe it's not included if it's not important enough to write about. Well, Monokuma, I plead the fifth. There he goes again. I'm so appalled that I have nothing to say. But you're doing a lot of talking. But even during Gundam's case. And before during Nikon's case, the thing he purposely omitted from the Monokuma file was always the most important mystery in the case. Are you saying that applies this time too? <sighs> hold, hold on a sec. Then are you saying there's more to Nagito's death? Yes. Are you suggesting again that his death wasn't a suicide? 
You guys were the ones who said it was a suicide in the first place. We're just trying to figure out what actually happened. No, I don't think it's a mistake to call Nagito's death a suicide. But, but if it was assisted. But it's not just a suicide. Come to think of it, did Nagito really, really commit suicide just to get us all killed? Are you sticking up for him? That's not what I meant. I mean it in a bad sense. Bad sense? I just remembered that his malice always defied our expectations. And that concerns me. For example, would that malice just end here? Huh? Did Nagito's malice drive him to risk his life for a truth we'd reach this easily? I mean, this is Nagito we're talking yeah, about, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How interesting! You sure do believe in Nagito, huh? Because you believe in his malice, you continue to suspect his malice. I see. I guess that's what passes for friendship these days. What friendship? What should we do, you guys? Should we proceed with the vote? No. I think we should keep going until everyone is satisfied. Even if it's just to be safe. You're right. We only get one chance to vote after all. Just to be safe, huh? Guess I have no choice. If that's the case, I'll do my best to go along with it. This is friggin' annoying. But if you guys say you're doing it, there's no way I'm gonna back out. Hey, Monokuma! You heard us. The voting's gonna have to wait! We've come this far. Let's work hard till the very end. If we work together, uh. everything should be alright. That's what I believe. Oh, Shut up. Splendid. You guys are so splendid right now. That's right. If all your hopes are united, no despair can shake you. If all your hopes are united, no despair can shake you, huh? Now that I think about it, Nagito said the same thing. The absolute hope that can overcome any despair. He was yearning for that. Then in this situation we're in, might be the thing that Nagito wanted all along. No, never mind. I'm probably overthinking. <laughs> Man! was racing like crazy when I thought voting time was gonna start but well if you think about it rationally there's no way it's gonna, it's gonna happen we haven't we haven't we haven't done this bit yet most of the players probably figured that out too you're the only one who didn't know isn't that right Monami how much longer are you planning to sulk let's get along like we always do all right you passed Friendship is measured by how long you can stand silence when you're alone with someone. So Monami and I are bestest of friends. Don't say such stupid things. I hate you so much right now. Enough! Why do I have to be hated that much? Besides the fact that you snap at me like that, I don't trust you at all. Not even a teensy tiny one millimeter bit. How sad. Distrusting your friend is much more shameful than being betrayed by that friend, you know? Not even friends in the first place. Then as your older brother, let me say this. You're not even my brother. It's sad to live a life without friendship. That's even sadder than watching a high school rom-com full of guys. Oh, there may be in some demands for that. Oh, I fell for it. I totally took the man bait. We're about, We're about to get freaky. I'm Monami. By now, there's nothing more for me to say. Then stop talking. Anyway, my chest, everyone is united against despair. That's why I'm, I will fight the only way I can. That's basically it. Thank you. So if we're working together, where do we start? With the cause of death missing from the Monokuma file? Why don't we try removing all our preconceived notions before we discuss this? In the beginning, our discussion advanced by assuming Nagito's death was caused by the spear. It's better to confirm if there are any other possibilities. 
That's what I think. Other possibilities. Huh. If something other than the spear killed Nagito, all I can think of is the knife stabbed into his hand, but... That was definitely a gruesome wound, but it wouldn't be the fatal wound, don't you think? Hmm. If you think the cuts on his legs and left arm aren't the fatal wounds... Hmm. Are we finished already? I feel like... It's possible that we overlooked something. Overlooked, then let's huh? bring up whatever we can think of, one after the other. That might clear some things up. Exactly. We should cooperate at a time like this. Fatal wound that wasn't the spear. I don't even know if it actually exists, but if it does, find out what it is no matter what. Yes, sir! Oh, let me see. Monokuma special poison. Let us consider a different fatal wound. It's not the knife in his right hand, right? It's not the other wounds, right? With all those wounds, maybe he simply bled to death. Uh. There's no way he burned to death. Was the cause of death something that cannot be seen? Yeah! I agree with that. I agree with that. I totally forgot about that possibility. If the cause of death was something we can't see, then we have to consider poison as a possible method. It is true that poison is not something we can see, but why did you bring that up all of a sudden? I remember. When I went to investigate Nagito's cottage, I discovered something really strange. Inside the refrigerator, I found a bottle of Monokuma's special poison. Poison? Additionally, that's a poison made specifically for killing. I see. Now that you mention it, there's no way a toxin like that doesn't relate to the case at all. If, if poison was a cause of death, it would not leave an obvious wound on Makito's body. However, it's common for blood blotches to appear on a body that's been poisoned. I see. You sure seem to know a lot about medicine. What is that mean? But, even if blood blotches appear, if the body was already covered in blood, there's no way we'd notice them easily, right? Did, did he wound his body just to camouflage them? Hey. That's also a possibility. But still, both of Nagito's hands were full, so how would he drink poison? His left hand was tied up and driven with spear, and his right hand had a knife stuck in it. If it was a slow acting poison, it is possible he consumed it in advance. Remember what I said about the fire bombs? Last episode when we were in when we first found the body. Not last episode, maybe not last, I don't know. But when we first found the body in the last recording, they said something about it and I theorized that oh snap, fire bombs might have been replaced with might have been poured out and replaced with gasoline. And I said at the beginning of at the beginning of the class trial, what if the fire bombs were replaced with the poison instead? Because we know the poison activates through burning. No, the warning label on the bottle explicitly states the effect is instant. Then it's impossible. Both his hands were full just before he died. And this is when the hard tail appears. Why do you keep talking about cock? You're totally overvaluing that tail. His mouth was covered with duct tape. You know. If he wanted to drink poison, how would he get it past his lips? If there's no way he could have drank the poison, it might be impossible. Just kidding. <laughs> it's not like we're out of possibilities yet. Are there any left? Hell no. No matter how you slice it, he was totally killed by that spirit. Let me slice your head off, bro. Shut up. Since we've already They're not helping. Any possibilities. It might be easier to think about what really killed him. Operation Elimination Method. The hint should be written on the poison's warning label. Maybe. Answer is written on a warning label. I should think carefully and try to remember it. Logic dies. I'm about to hit. 
Hey, Bobby Tarantino to the digital. My is pivotal. Smoking chronic, no medicinal. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna sing logic during a logic dive, I promise. Who you know assembled a clan like Vol? I don't wanna be alive. Hold on, hold on. It was gas, it was gas. I don't wanna be alive. I don't wanna be alive. Y'all not about to. Y'all not about to screw me with a freaking screw penis, all right? Look at how they screwing me, bro. Like, they, they screwing me. They screwing me with a screwdriver penis, bro. They need to chill out with all that. How? I was right there! I'm about to hang myself. They screwing me with a screwdriver penis, bro. In and out, in and out, in and out. How did the poison enter his body? Through his nose, probably, right? Most likely. His nose wasn't covered up, just his mouth. If his nose was covered up, he would have suffocated way before. This is trippy. I don't like this. I don't like this. That's trippy. Oh, red. Hold on. Yes, sir. It's all coming together. What if instead of drinking the poison, we assume he inhaled it? Inhaled? It's written on the poison's warning label. This enchanted liquid is highly potent and takes effect immediately. Please handle with care. Though its validity is low, this liquid is very dangerous when vaporized. Dangerous when vaporized. In other words, breathing in the gas is fatal. Poison gas! Then all he had to do was breathe it in through his nose. He breathed that poisonous gas inside the warehouse? But if poisonous gas had spread throughout the warehouse, why didn't it kill us? Anakuma kept us from going inside. Fire. Crap. Well, I thought maybe the fire made us not want to go inside. Um, I see. Sprinklers, I guess? The sprinklers in the warehouse. Thanks to those, we didn't inhale that poison gas. Is that how it works? The poison gas disappeared because of the sprinklers? It wasn't the fire? Well... This was also written on the poison's warning label. And the gas just stated it is heavier than air. It breaks down in minutes and is susceptible to hydrolysis. I don't know what that means. It is possible for you to poison someone to death without any complications. Of course! Hydrolysis! I don't know what that means. The chemical bonds that form the poison were broken down by the water from the sprinklers. Ooh, so water basically turns poison into non-dangerous air also the poison is apparently denser than air so it probably didn't affect us because we were standing oh yeah because you know the denser a gas is the lower it is but makito was laying down so he must have breathed in a whole bunch of it huh if it meets the requirements that well maybe it's not just a possibility anymore yeah the true cause of nagito's death was poison the wounds on his body, the spear in his stomach, it was all to keep us from learning the truth. So what? Huh? We figured out that Nagito died from poison, but so what? In the end, it doesn't change the fact that he committed suicide, right? Then enough already. No, stop Nagito that. Nagito inhaled the poison he prepared and died. Yeah, that still sounds like a suicide. Well, with this, we have a clearer picture. We've also determined the true cause of death. All right, all the mysteries should be solved now. We should get on with the voting time, right? Uh, well, but what? There's still more? Yes, there is more! I mean, not all the mysteries have been solved yet. In the end, Nagito's motive is still unclear. Did he commit suicide just so he could kill every last one of us? Was that really his motive? Is that really okay? Hey, what happened? There's no reason to wonder about that stuff anymore, you know. Nagito's motive. Nagito's malice. 
Is this really okay? Can we really finish this here? No, that can't be. What did you just say? If Nagito committed suicide by inhaling poison that he brought, then why wasn't there anything that looked like poison at the crime scene? Yo, my theory is right! We were the accomplice! We killed him! Anything that looked like poison? If Nagito brought poison to the warehouse, it's strange that we couldn't find it there. Are you talking about the container the poison was kept in? Yeah. If Nagito brought it, it's strange we couldn't find that container anywhere, right? You can't carry around poison without putting it in a container? Yeah, that was written on the warning label. Keep this liquid secure by storing it in a cool place in a glass or a plastic container away from sunlight. Probably melted in the fire. It's probably plastic or glass, right? There's no way it completely incinerate. Even the plastic fragments of the fire grenades we used to put out the fire didn't completely burn up, you know? Then does that mean someone got rid of the container? So that's why you mentioned an accomplice. <sighs> that is impossible. I mean, an accomplice? It is just too... Like, does that really matter all that much? I mean, even if he had an accomplice, it doesn't change the fact that Nagito still committed suicide. You're right. Someone might have accidentally took it away from the crime scene. Ah, oh, you're right! You're totally right! That's totally it! Right? Isn't it okay to close this case yet? I'm not in the mood for unexpected twists. I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want to get hurt anymore by hurting someone else. Everyone's tired, tired of doubting everyone else. I also feel that way. That's why I want to just rule this as Nagito's suicide. If I do that, nobody here has to get hurt. But that's no good. Huh? I feel like Nagito is seeing through us. By calling this Nagito suicide, we're trying to take the easy way out so we don't hurt anyone else. But if Nagito was here right now, he'd probably be sneering at us. He'd probably say something like, So that's the extent of your hopes. So Nagito's ghost is whispering to you, huh? Bro, shut up. <laughs> the power of friendship bursts beyond death, huh? A fiery outcome like this is right out of a teen manga. Still, that's pretty messed up. Shut up. You just be quiet. Please be quiet, both of you. I, I get what you're saying, but in the end, the reason he died is still the same as before, right? Even if we solve this mystery, the conclusion won't change at all. I mean, it'd be a suicide regardless, right? Uh, even if there really was an accomplice, is there any reason we should take the time to figure out who it is? Like Fuyuhiko said earlier, it is possible that somebody accidentally removed the poison from the crime scene. But I just can't imagine ending this by turning our backs on the truth. It's fine, okay? There are some things we're better off not knowing. And we probably just didn't notice it. Like maybe the container was hiding with the fire grenade fragments. <gasps> there we go! He figured it out! He figured it out! What is his feeling just now? Even though it was brief, it was like a strong flash of light running through the back of my head. He think he teen Gohan. Like, when he went Super Saiyan 2. <gasps> Maybe what Akane said just now might be a new clue. From there, I might be able to reach the answer. Way Nagito brought the poison, which means the thing he used as a container was... The FIRE GRENADES! Oh lord, not this again. Give me an F. Get D. Give me some D. There we go. Fire grenade. I be forgetting how to spell grenade. I be forgetting. I see. I got it. Huh? The fire grenades. 
Nagito put the poison inside one of the fire grenade canisters and transported it to the warehouse. He used one of the fire grenade canisters? Yeah, the container with the poison in it wasn't secretly taken away by someone. Instead, it was in a container that didn't need to be taken away in the first place. As long as he put the poison in the same container he brought to the warehouse, it can be hidden with the other fire grenades we used, so there's no need to dispose of the container later. Bastard. He totally knew we were gonna throw those fire grenades. Which means... Did Nagito exchange the contents of a fire grenade? Yeah, that has to be it. When I first discovered those fire grenades, I tried to study them a little bit, but... The canister was completely sealed shut by a layer of aluminum underneath the lid. You just have to peel off that seal and swap the insides, right? The... that is true, but... There was no sign he was even at the break room. Hold on. Did you say aluminum? Yeah, we have that. I can it. Could it be? If so, then there's no mistake. Nagito definitely swapped the contents of one of the fire grenades. Seriously? That's impossible! Miss Sonia just said so right now! Shut up, Kazuichi Soda! Sonia's words are proof that the poison was swapped with the contents of a fire grenade. Huh? Right there! Right there! Right there! Take a look. We found this under Nagito's bed when we were investigating his cottage. Huh? That's just a piece of trash. No, that is not just a piece of trash. The seal I saw on that fire grenade matched this. It is the same aluminum. You found the aluminum seal under Nagito's bed? There's more. That's not the only thing we found in Nagito's room. He also found a gas mask and gloves under his bed, too. Did he use those when he put the poison inside the fire grenade? It's a dangerous poison after all. He took extreme caution in swapping them. So what's the issue? Nagito put the poison in the grenade canister, brought it with him, breathed it in and died, right? So in the end, he still fucking committed suicide. Enough already! You're not thinking, Kazuichi Soda! Y you're right. Not, you, you never think of Kane. If the canister wasn't thrown away, then it just means that there wasn't an accomplice after all. See, I told you, the conclusion is still the same. Nagito committed suicide. End of story. Not thinking for you, Hiko. I admit that there wasn't an accomplice. That was just my misunderstanding. You, you're right. In actuality, the truth is even more horrifying. What did you say? Hey, what are you planning to say now? What the hell? Do you still want to keep going? Is this not settled? There is no denying that Nagito's death was a suicide. No, it's not. Jockey? I'm sorry, but I just realized it. Realized what? We know Nagito used the grenade canister to store the poison. So when was it deployed in the warehouse? When did Nagito breathe in the poison? When I thought along those lines, that's when I realized it. At noon. Horrifying truth. When we threw the fire grenades, one of us had the fire grenade in our hand, the bad one, threw it in there and killed Nagito. Like I said, happened at the same time. The moment the fire grenades were brought in and the moment Nagito breathed in the poison were the same. I see. Are you saying? It was when we all threw the fire grenades? Yeah, I think so. When we all threw the grenades to put out the fire in the warehouse, the poison was deployed, and it converted to poison gas and killed Nagito. If, if that is true, then the person who brought the poison and spread it was... One of us. What the heck? One of us threw the poison grenade that killed Nagito? H hold on a sec. The Nagito was. It would mean he didn't kill himself. She said 
so yourself. You said Nagito committed suicide. Th then who killed Nagito? You mean, who's the actual killer, right? Do you know? Who prepared the poison fire grenade that killed Nagito? Huh? Nagito, right? I see. It was Nagito, obviously. We just discussed this a few minutes ago. Then who set the warehouse fire that caused one of us to throw the poison grenade? Nagito. That was also Nagito. Hey, how many times are you gonna ask the same damn question? Calm down talking to Chiaki. The next question will be my last. Considering all the facts up till now, why did Nagito set the warehouse on fire? The reason he set the warehouse on fire was to make someone throw the poison. Don't tell me, eh? He set the warehouse on fire just so we'd have to throw the fire grenades? He set the fire just so we'd put it out? Why'd he do that? It was a trap. A trap? Preparing the poison. Creating a reason for us to throw the poison. It was all a setup by Nagito. It was all a trap to make one of us throw the poison grenade. S seriously I'm asking you who threw it. I don't know. The person who threw it probably didn't know either. Huh? Could, could it be? Was that Nagito's trap? This wasn't an intentional murder. This was a murder that Nagito forced someone to do. And for that reason... He put the fire grenade that he filled with poison with the other grenades. Setting up a murder nobody can solve. That was Nagito's true goal. What? What the hell? Nagito did not commit murder. Instead, he manipulated someone else into killing him? To do that, he set a trap to force someone to kill him. Poison grenade and the fire were traps. That's why the curtain was the fire's origin point. All the fire grenades we threw at the curtain shattered once they fell to the floor. Because of that, Nagito, who was laying face up on the floor, was able to breathe in the dense poison. And then. Oh, 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 hold on! If that's true, you can't say the poison was a cause of death. It might be the poison's fault he let go of the spear, but the actual cause of death could be either one. Even so, the poison is what caused him to let go of the spear. That's right! Nagito's killer is the one who made him breathe the poison! Are you fucking serious? That was his trap all along. Even the wounds all over his body. It was all to mess with the evidence for what actually happened. His true goal was creating a murder that nobody can solve. He wanted to prove to us that there are mysteries that just can't be solved with educated guesses. He probably expected that his fake suicide would be found out. After all, a mystery that can be solved is destined to be solved in the end. However, he also prepared a mystery that couldn't be solved. As you solve mysteries and bolster your hope, a huge mystery comes along and slaps you in your faces! For those of you who believe there are no unsolvable mysteries, that is when you finally taste despair. Meaning, he used all of the prior class trial verdicts to prepare this trick. Not all mysteries can be solved. <laughs> Such a devious trick he played on you, as expected of Nagito. That's totally messed up. It's so fucked up. It is my fault, because I told you all about the fire grenades. I... I am so sorry. Please vote me as a killer. That's not the fucking issue here. It's not Miss Soya's fault. This is all Nagito's doing. But, what should we do? How can we even figure out who the killer is? It's impossible. It's impossible? 
Ito wanted to create a scenario where we could make a decision. That's why we're at an impasse. Huh. However, Monokuma also does not know who the killer is, right? That's right! There's no way he'd be able to figure that out with just his surveillance cameras! If Monokuma doesn't know, this trial doesn't count! Isn't that right? You know, I don't actually need stuff like cheap-ass surveillance cameras or whatever. I know perfectly well what's happening on this island at all times! I know you used the bathroom three times yesterday, Sonya! And one of those visits seemed to take a while. Please stop! I will never become clean! How can you... Hey, hey! I mean, how can you have such an awful power? So, of course this trial still counts. Do your very best to guess who the killer is! Yes, he says. How the hell are we supposed to do that? Is giving up all we can do? No, it's too early to give up. Is there any way to figure out who the killer is? Even though it's just a hunch, it's possible that it's probably... There's one way, I think. Really? Hey, is it alright if we look at Nagito's crime one more time from the beginning? I want to make sure my hunch is correct. Hajime, please. I mean the trial is over yet. Even though I don't know who killed Nagato, it should be clear what kind of trap he set. And I have to do it. Even if it leads to despair. Got Let's do this then. Here's everything there we that go. happened in this case. The person who actually arranged this incident was the victim, Nagito Komaeda. He kept a specific item inside his cottage that he needed for his plan. Monokuma's special poison, which he brought with him from the octagon. Using the gloves and gas mask that he got from the military base. Nagito swapped the contents of a fire grenade he took from the plushy factory break room with that poison. When he did that, a specific item was left as evidence, the blue aluminum seal on the grenade. With that, Nagito finished making the poisoned fire grenade, took it with him to the factory. And put it back with the rest of the grenades in the break room. The next morning, Nagito appeared before us and declared that he hit a bomb somewhere. While we were looking for the bomb, that's when Nagito headed over to the goods warehouse. In order to set up a fire, Nagito arranged the Monokuma panels in a line going from the door to the curtain and placed an oil lighter in front of it. From there, Nagito set his insane plan in motion. First, he hung the spear that he took from Nozumi Castle from the ceiling girder by its cord. Then he tied his arms and legs at the back of the warehouse with rope. However, he burnt off the rope on his right arm beforehand. In doing so, he made sure that only his right hand was free, while his remaining arm and legs were tied up. As he gripped the tip of the rope hanging over the ceiling girder with his left hand, he lay down face up, just beneath the dangling spear. But this was just the beginning of Nagito's plan. And then, he did something no one could have predicted. First, he covered his mouth with duct tape, and after making sure he was unable to scream, he stabbed himself with the knife multiple times in his left arm and in both of his thighs. Finally. He propped the knife on the plushie and slammed his right hand onto the blade. He didn't just want us to think he was tied up. He also wanted us to think he'd been tortured. Through all this, Nagito never let go of the spear. His plan still wasn't over. In fact, it was just about to begin. Meanwhile, we finally arrived at the plushie factory and found Nagito's message. After seeing his message, 
We instantly made our way to the warehouse. But that was part of Nagito's plan. We opened the door to the warehouse, which inadvertently started the Monokuma panel domino effect. Panels fell one after another until they reached the lighter, tipped it over, and ignited the curtain. Shocked by the sudden fire, we rushed to the factory's break room to obtain some fire extinguishing grenades. We then aimed for the fire's origin point, which was the curtain, and unloaded the entire supply. It never occurred to us that one of those grenades was the poison grenade that Nagito had prepared. The poison sank to the floor, instantly vaporizing due to the intense heat, and spread everywhere. The poison gas quickly drifted to the curtain at the back of the warehouse, where Nagito was. Also, Monokuma's poison has a unique quality in which it becomes heavier than air when vaporized. That poison gas completely surrounded the area where Nagito lay face up on the floor. There, Nagito inhaled the poison, and if it didn't instantly kill him, he certainly lost consciousness. Which caused him to let go of the rope in his left hand, and the falling spear plunged into his stomach. This is all the information related to Nagito's plan. His true intention was to set one of us up as the killer. At this time, we still don't know who the killer is, because the killer wasn't aware they killed someone. Try as we might, we cannot reach that truth. That was Nagito's trap. In conclusion, the fact that we can't determine the killer's identity should be the truth behind Nagito's trap. How about it, Chiaki? Will that help you figure out who the killer is? Uh, um, Chiaki? Let her think! My goodness. Just as I thought. It's impossible, isn't Bro, it? Bro, let her think! You say we just have to vote for someone? What Hajime said is probably true. That's part of the reason why I thought it was a little strange. Did Nagito really not care who the killer was? Huh? He said this to us earlier. It's gonna be fine. I'm pretty sure everything will work out in the end. After all, there's no way hope can lose. Absolute hope that can break through any despair can never lose in a place like this. And not only that, I believe in you all. I believe in the time we spent together. That feeling of belief is at the heart of his trick. He believed we'd notice the fire grenades. He believed we'd try to extinguish the flames. And he believed we'd fall into his trap. By believing in us, Nagito was able to put his life-threatening plan into effect. What do you mean, believe? And what's wrong with that? There's one more thing, remember? Something that Nagito believed in from the bottom of his heart. I want you to try to remember what that is. I see! Talent, ultimate luck. Nagito believed in his talent as the ultimate lucky student. Through all the time we've spent together, I believe in you guys. And more than anything, I believe in my ultimate luck. It was definitely going to be alright. so strange really most of us here have been relying on the same thing but in his case it was pretty remarkable wasn't it it almost seemed like he had blind faith in it you're right the same thing happened when he cleared the final dead room at the fun house it wasn't life-threatening at all it was a, just a little escape game that ended with some russian roulette russian roulette it's a game where you load one bullet in a gun, spin the cylinder, point it towards you, and pull the trigger. So you really did it. Ah, so that's how you're supposed to play it. So it would have been fine if I'd only used one bullet, huh? I guess it was just as Monomi said. Huh? I misunderstood and thought I had to take one bullet out of the cylinder, so that's how I did it. That, 
that means you had a 1 in 6 chance of survival. But I'm still fine after all. The only good thing about me is how lucky I am. And he did the same thing when the first killing happened at the old building. He depended on his luck and was able to get cleaning duty just as he wanted. That's right, I just trusted my luck. I trusted I'd be picked for cleaning duty. You relied on your luck? I don't remember his voice. It's not just luck. It's my true talent. It's trash. I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know? Huh? I'm left with the red mark? Ha, <laughs> if someone caught the ultimate lucky student, you don't seem very lucky right now. At the time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky, but it was just actually the opposite. I was lucky. That's why I got picked for cleaning duty just like I wanted. Got a good freaking voice. Anybody. He probably had a target. A target he was aiming for all along. A person to set up as the killer. A target? Who? The target's true identity. Even Nagito didn't know it. That's why he relied on being the ultimate lucky student and incorporated that luck into his plan. The traitor! As long as he had his luck, he believed the target he was after would pick up the fire grenade. You mean, he left his plan to luck? He risked his life for that? He probably risked his life just so his ultimate luck could decide this. Who is it? Who's the target? It's the traitor! Nagito, you genius! Nagito, you genius! That's it. The traitor. Nagito was after the traitor, huh? He's the GOAT. I'm sorry. He's the goat. He's the freaking goat. Holy crap! He's the goat. He relied on his luck to weed out the traitor. He is the goat. He didn't know who the traitor was until the very end. Then, what he said in his video message. It won't work with just any student handbook. If you want to disarm that bomb, you have to use the traitor student handbook. To be honest, I found out who the traitor was after secretly monitoring everyone's activity. But I was a little annoyed that they never came forward. So he was just bluffing. That's probably true. By that point, his plan should have already been in motion. And it's just as Nagato said at the beginning. His purpose was to weed out the traitor. If we just believed in what Nagito said, we would have reached the answer much quicker. The reason this took so dang long, was it really because we didn't believe in him? But if he just wanted to out the traitor, he didn't have to go this far and make that person the killer. Damn it! We're all in a huge bind because of that! It means he wants us to beat the traitor. By finding out who the traitor is, our hopes will shine even brighter by overcoming that despair. That's something he'd say. Monami, it looks like you've got something you want to say. But you better just keep your mouth shut. And that concludes my argument. Nagito's plan was to make the traitor kill him. What are you going to do? Are you guys going to believe me? He relied on his luck to aim for a target, but he didn't even know who he was aiming for. It sounds way too unbelievable to have actually happened, but... The only thing we can do is believe. If we don't... Then we'd just be relying on our luck when we cast our votes. But even if we do believe, what should we do? I mean, if we don't know who the target is, there's no way we can even vote. You are absolutely right. It is hard to think the traitor would reveal themselves now. If, by chance, the traitor revealed themselves during that bomb scare, what would have happened? Would it have... Stop Nagito from acting so reckless? Huh? But they couldn't help it. Even if they wanted to reveal themselves, they couldn't do it because they weren't created to do that. 
Chiaki? What's wrong, Chiaki? Get a hold of yourself! That's why... I want you guys to guess. You want us to guess? Yeah, I want you to guess. What? What does that mean? Who do you think it is, Hajime? Who do you think the future Foundation sent to infiltrate your group as the traitor? Why? A traitor who's not allowed to think that they're different from everyone else. Why? A traitor who can only interact with everyone as a traitor. Why? Because that's the nature of their existence. They can only exist as a traitor. Seriously, why? Who do you think is the traitor? Hajime, please. Chiaki, you're the traitor? Please! Hold on! Ah, you totally guessed right. Just as expected. Yep, you're correct. I'm the traitor. The agent sent by the future foundation to hide among you all is me. Hi. This is, I mean, this is no nonsense. Why? Why does this make sense? Hey, Chiaki, are you being serious right now? Ch Chiaki is the traitor? That is a lie, right? Surely you must be joking. I'm sorry. It's the truth. Hey, what are you saying sorry for? I'm... What does this mean? You... Up to now... You've been tricking us? What? We were not tricked! After all, we have been working together all this time! We have been helping each other all this time! Chiaki, being a traitor, being a member of that horrifying future foundation, that is obviously a lie! Please! Wait! The Future Foundation isn't what you think it is! Shut the fuck up! We're talking to Chiaki! No. I have nothing more to say. Why? Because we already know the killer's true identity. So the only thing left to do... is vote. H hold on! We're not satisfied yet! If you say you are the traitor, please provide an explanation that will help us understand. We cannot go until we are satisfied. That is what you said earlier, Chiaki. Hey, if you're really the traitor, why'd you wait till now to reveal yourself? It's weird, isn't it? Waiting until right now to out yourself. It's definitely strange, right? Or rather, why was I able to do that? Maybe... I wanted to protect everyone, no matter the cost. Hey, Hajime, can you do me a small favor? Favor? Me? I want you to prove to them that I'm the traitor. What? What are you saying? Why do I have to do that? I want to explain everything to you guys, but... As I expected, that's rather difficult. That's why... The only thing I can do is plead with you. I want you to do it. I believe you can prove it. Whether I can prove it or not, that's not the problem. Don't you understand? You may as well be asking me to kill you. I... There's no way I can do that. I'm very sorry, but this is the only way. 
So please. <laughs> Looks like we gotta do what we can. It's not like I believe she's the traitor. There's just no way we can ignore this without confirming it. If she was just disguised or something, this would have been a heck of a lot easier for us to understand, but... She's not disguised at all! Cause... Chiaki isn't the traitor! Monami? <laughs> Too bad. I'm not part of the same group as that girl. I don't know anything about that girl at all. Hey, are you trying to cover for her like that? You suck! I've always been alone. I have no friends anywhere. That's why I have no relation to Chiaki whatsoever. Hajime, you're going to listen to my request, right? Damn Chiaki isn't my friend. I hate Chiaki so much. Anami and Chiaki's relationship. Moving it here is the only way. I hate this freaking panic time, bro. This one just sucks to me, man. I hate this. I hate. I hate Don and Rapa 2's panic time, bro. It sucks. It's trash. When we investigated Nagito's cottage, I discovered a notebook with the new Sami logo on it. That's your notebook, right? The one Nagito stole from you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Don't tell me. Is that where the traitor's true identity is written? That's right. Since I knew something like this would happen. I made sure to bring it here today. Oh, uh, so sudden? Give me that notebook. Hey, one, I was able to talk to everyone for the first time today. Monica showed up. Yaki is the leader. A lot of things happen. Is this? Is this? Is, is the traitor's identity written in here? Nagito was probably looking for that too. So that might be why he stole the notebook. But you wouldn't know who the traitor is just by reading this notebook. Of course, Magito wouldn't know either. It's different for me. You know? It took me this long, but I finally understand. No, truth is I might have already known the moment I found this notebook. It's just, I wanted to turn my eyes from the truth it held. But now I clearly know. I can't help but know. First of all, this isn't Monami's diary. Apparently she can't write. Then the one who wrote this is... Someone connected to Monami. Meaning, it's not a mistake to think that the traitor wrote it. If so, is this like a report that the traitor was sending to Monami? Is it evidence that they were observing our actions and reporting to Monami? But how would you know who the traitor is from that? Because there's an entry written in here that only me and one other person would know. Oh yeah, because it says something about us wanting. Entry. It says something about Hajime wanting to go into the final dead room, but only person who knew about that was Chiaki. Been in the fun house for three days. Everyone's hungry and on edge. Hajime tried going to the final dead room, probably panicking. Because there it is. It's true. I tried to go inside the final dead room. But the only one who knew that. If I win this life threatening game here, I'll be. Uh, I did it. I finally did it. I figured out where the exit is. I can get out. With this, I can finally get out. You can't do that. You shouldn't go in there. You won't find what you're looking for. That's right. The only person who knew that is. Chiaki. Why Chiaki is the only person who could have possibly written about this. There must be some mistake. I mean, if Chiaki is the traitor, what was all that time we spent with her? Was that all a lie, too? Miss Sonia. Chiaki is. She is being controlled by Monokuma. That is why we should help her. 
I'm not satisfied either. I mean, if you were the traitor, there's no way you'd do something so stupid when we found the bomb. It's really stupid to be fighting over something like this. And so, with an annoyed expression on her face, Chiaki walked over, took her hand, but without hesitating, swiped it. Looks like it was wrong. Now that you mention it, Chiaki immediately went to the card reader with her handbook. She tested it out right away after being told it would only react to the traitor's handbook. That doesn't make any sense. A traitor would be more cautious than that. Chiaki probably knew the bomb was a fake. That's why she also knew Nagito's trap was a bluff. She... she knew? That is a mistake! That must be a mistake! Why are you saying such things? Do you really want Chiaki to be the traitor? No! Of course not! I will not believe it! I refuse to believe Chiaki is a traitor! There is... just no way! I don't want to believe it either. I don't want to believe... But then nobody will be saved! Chiaki is not the traitor! When we were trying to turn off the bomb... Didn't Chiaki use the card reader right away? If she's a traitor, she would have been more cautious! There's no way Chiaki would have known! If that bomb was fake or not! The only person who knew it was a fake was... Me, when I tried to detonate it! Unless you know a whole lot about bombs... There's no way you know if it's fake just by looking at it. I don't... I don't want to believe it, but... We have to move forward toward the path she's showing us. Chucky is not the traitor! When we were trying to turn off the bomb... Didn't Chucky use the card reader right away? If she's a traitor, she wants to know if that bomb was fake or not. The only person who knew it was a, me when I tried to detonate it. That's wrong. Damn it! He's not the only one who knew. Monami was oh Sonya's account. That's Chiaki what I got. She's not the traitor. When we were Monami saw that it was Chiaki fake and stole. She's a traitor. She uh, there's no way she if that bomb was fake or not. The only person who knew it was me when I tried to. That's not it. That's not it. Sonya shouldn't have been the only one who knew it was a fake. Monami was also there when you found out the bomb at the military base wasn't real. You said so yourself. Is that true, Miss Sonia? Chiaki heard about it from Monami. That's why she knew the bomb was a fake. Since I've been found out, I'll just confess. The reason I couldn't tell anyone I knew the bomb was a fake was because if I had said that, I would have had to explain how I heard about it from Monami. I do not want to hear that! Enough already. Please do not say another word. I do not want this anymore. I am so very tired of doubting people. Sonia. Uh, and... Just because she knew the bomb was a fake, does not mean we should decide she is the traitor! Even if she knew the bomb was fake, that does not prove Chucky is the traitor! If that counts as evidence, I should be doubted too! After all, I also knew the bomb was fake. Sonia, she's panicking pretty badly. I don't have enough words to counter her right away. It might be best. Even if she. Knowing it was a fake isn't the problem. What matters is who told her. What matters is that she heard about it from Monami. Someone other than me and Monami who knew that bomb was fake. That someone is Monokuma. Monokuma said so earlier, correct? He knows everything about this island. Monokuma probably told Chiaki that it was fake beforehand. And so, you could not. 
declare that. Monomi and Chiaki were working together. Damn it! Knows everything of Monaco has probably told Chiaki that it was fake beforehand. Huh? You're right. Monokuma probably knew the bomb was a fake. But Monokuma shouldn't have told anyone either. And where did Nagito obtain the bomb he used? I wonder. If I'm going to give you guys a hint, then you should probably know it wasn't from the military base. To tell the truth, the bombs, they're all fakes. I know that already. You should have said so earlier. Well, I thought if I kept it a secret, it would, if I kept it quiet, it would foreshadow a killing was going to happen. That's why I'm just not telling for the first time. That... Monokuma may have just been lying. No, he won't lie at times like this. You already know that. Uh, Hajime, are you going to believe Monokuma over Chiaki? That's not it. It's just, even if Chiaki is the traitor, is it really okay to vote for her? That basically just means we have to believe in Nagito's luck, right? That's not it. Are you telling us to trust his luck? Are you telling us to entrust our lives to that bastard? There's no way I can believe in Nagito. I'm telling you that's not it. We shouldn't believe in Monokuma or Nagito. We have to believe in Chiaki. Huh? It doesn't matter who the traitor is. Even if Chiaki is the traitor, that's not the Chiaki I know. I believe in the Chiaki who's been with us this whole time. That Chiaki is saying she wants to protect us with her life. So the only thing we can do is believe her. If we don't, nobody's going to be saved. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, can you listen to me a little? There's nothing to be sad about, you know? Because this is different from what happened before. Unlike before, you guys don't have to stay alive by doubting someone. You guys can stay alive by believing in me. Are you telling us to believe in you? And sacrifice you? That is just too cruel! I'm sorry. Ch Chihaki! Monami. I'm sorry too. You're probably gonna get scolded by a lot of different people for this. But still, I want to protect everyone by any means. And... I'm happy that I'm able to do that. It's not up to me to decide whether that's right or wrong. However, I believe it's truly amazing that you were able to think like that. We could even call this a miracle. Hey, what have you two been talking about? Everyone's jaws are dropping, you know? I know. It's voting time, right? Uh, hey, Chiaki. You don't have to worry. Believe in me. And cast your vote. God damn it! Why did it end up like this? It's not fair. I feel the same as everyone else. There's no way I can agree to this. Emptiness, loneliness, sadness. But most of all, I'm ashamed of my weakness. But even so, I have to move forward. If we believe in the person who's urging us forward, then we have to start walking and believe with as much hope as possible in what lies ahead. Man on poop, let's go ahead and announce the result. 
The traitor from the Future Foundation and Nagito Kamaeda's killer is Chiaki Nanami. Damn it. Are you serious? That was correct. The fact that Chiaki was a traitor, the fact that Nagito's crime depended entirely on his luck. Everything was true? Damn it. Plus, that means that bastard managed to pull it off. Congratulations, Congratulations everyone. Damn it. Stupid, we're not celebrating at all. Damn it. Chiaki, let me ask you one more time. Are you really part of the Future Foundation? An agent of the organization that brought us to this island? Is that really your true identity? I'm sorry I didn't tell I'm you I'm sorry guys. I didn't tell you guys. What? That is... I cannot believe it. Even though I do not want to believe it. There is no choice but to believe it, right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It would have been better if I could have said it sooner, but I couldn't say it no matter what. Cause... Cause I can't betray the Future Foundation. Can't betray. Well... Even if you want to fly, you can't, right? Even if you want to swim where you please, you can't, right? Um... It's the same for me. Due to the nature of my existence, I will never be able to betray the Future Foundation. What the heck? But in the end, you did something similar. What you did is no different than sharing your secret yourself. <laughs> You're right. Why? That's not a time to be laughing. Well? But strangely enough, I don't have any regrets. In fact, I'm somewhat happy. I was able to think I wanted to protect everyone. That's why I feel proud of my actions. Uh. Still saying things I don't get, but if we ask you anything, you're just not going to answer, right? Like if we ask why you were in the Future Foundation and stuff. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That is. Even if you were a traitor, you never betrayed us. Chiaki, you will always be our friend, even now. We don't blame you for this. That's why you don't need to apologize. Yeah. So the traitor was revealed and Chiaki lost. In the end, it all went according to Nagito's plan, huh? Like. About that. Was that really Nagito's goal? Is it really okay to say he was trying to find the killer and eliminate them? If so, isn't it strange? Strange. So. I mean, we, we nearly lost, right? And if Chiaki hadn't said anything, we definitely would have lost. <laughs> you raised a good point. That's exactly it. Even though Nagito said he would weed out the traitor, he never said he would kill the traitor. Huh? Yes, Congratulations! You successfully stopped Nagito's plan. I mean, Nagito's plan was to reveal the traitor and kill everyone besides the traitor. Kill everyone besides the traitor? Are you serious? That was Nagito's goal? Huh? Why would he do something like that? Of all the- to form a plan that would- only the traitor would survive? Is that- is that bastard really that twisted? Nope. It's okay. Okay, what? Well? I mean, it's not just Nagito's fault. If the circumstances had been different, he probably wouldn't have taken things so far. Ch Chiaki. Chiaki, you really are a kind-hearted person. Mm. Huh, you think so? <laughs> Jeez, I wonder where you got your personality Perhaps. from. Maybe our dad and our big brother, don't you think? Hey, don't go talking about your family all of a sudden. That's totally ripping off Taro Taro. I can't lose. Then I cannot lose to Chiaki. Just like Chiaki and everyone else, even if I know it's, an, it's a fight I cannot win, I must try to retaliate. Retaliate? Hey, do it. Uh, I'm too depressed to do these voices. She's self-destructed. What was going on? Huh? Monokuma, like, died? No, no. I'm not dead. Oh my goodness. Whoa, a new one freaking came out. Man, that surprised me. If only I didn't have a spare, I would have died. Not yet. I'm not done yet. Hey, wait.
Seriously, stop right now. If you don't stop now, it's all gonna be destroyed. Of course, I'm doing it so you'll be destroyed. I will be the one to protect my students. I will protect them with my life. Monami, you. Now then, how many of you are there left? Uh, how many? Uh, not that much. Just around uh, 10 to the power of 60. Jesus Christ. Huh? What did you say? What? One million. Hmm. One, ten, one hundred, one thousand, ten thousand. Jump ahead. Uh, ten to the two, uh, ten to the sixteenth power. Uh, hey, hey. After all this, you're still joking around? You sure have quite the daring spirit. Except I'm not joking. <laughs> what are you even saying anymore? Didn't you see that scene? <laughs> While you're doing this, my clones are continuously and endlessly created in the Monokuma Manufacturing Facility. That's wrong. What? I thought they were, those were just stuffed animals. That's right. I, I checked them with my own hands. They're just plushies. You're just bluffing. Monami, finish them off. Hey, um... Even if it's just a plushie, as long as you give in Monokuma's personality, <laughs> it becomes a fully developed Monokuma. What did you say? There's no way that's possible. That's not even magic. Magic, huh? Have you already obtained that much power? Hold on. If you bring up magic so suddenly, we're going to be confused. Unless you mean magic in a technological sense. We won't understand this at all. What's going on? Don't tell me. They're not going to call this... I don't care how you interpret it. To my army of 10 to the power of 60 strong! <laughs> There's no value in that life you're risking! So how about this? This overwhelming despair! Does it make you dizzy from excitement? What's this? And how many monomies are left to challenge my army of 10 to the power of 60? Uh... You don't have any say. You don't have to say anything. I know. Let's see. You have ten more left, right? I know everything. I am the conqueror of the new world. I, I won't give up, even if I have no chance of winning. Hey, okay, Monami. Hmm? Well. Not about giving up, you know. Let's believe in them. Let's believe in everyone and leave the rest to them. I. But. Right. Right. Damn it. Damn it! What the hell is going on? I do not know for certain, but the one thing I can say is Monokuma is an enemy of the Future Foundation. Like... D does that mean there's another organization that's our enemy but besides the Future Foundation? This is bad. We're in a situation because we're caught up in a dispute between these two organizations? Okay, that's it. Let's just leave that talk for later. Because, because, because... Punishment time's gonna start. Ugh. Hold on, just a little more, just a little more time. To wait or not to wait, that is the question. But which will cause more despair? That's the real question. <laughs> if you think about it, you'd know, right? There's no way I'd wait. But I haven't- I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Hajime. Regardless, there's nothing else I can say. I'm not allowed to say anything more than I already have. Not that I- Now then, I now then I've prepared a special, special punishment, punishment for Chiaki Nanami, the ultimate special gamer. Ah, and for Monami too. Huh? Huh? Why even Monami? <laughs> It's just a two-for-one special. I could have killed that thing anytime I wanted since she's not a student. And also, I don't need anybody that would defy me any law anymore. Uh -huh. Oh, also, I remember now. <laughs> I'm Sorry. an only child. Is... What is that? Hmm. It's okay. Even if I'm here, I'd just be a burden anyway, and not just that. <laughs> I've decided to believe in everyone. You guys, I'm sorry about so many things. I'm sorry. For lying to you. I'm sorry. I couldn't protect you to the very end. Just one last time. Let me say something that makes me sound like a teacher. There's no need to be a hero. You don't have to force yourself just to make people acknowledge you. When you do that, you end up blaming yourself, blaming other people, and feeling jealous of everyone. But still, it doesn't have to be like that. Even if people don't acknowledge you, you just have to be someone that you can be proud of. Cause, you yourself are your biggest supporter. 
If you can learn to love yourself, that love will continue to support you for the rest of your life. Love, love. Bye, everyone. It's okay. A shining future will always be waiting for you. It's true. It's absolutely true. Cause... I know. Bye-bye! Please don't forget about your teacher! Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Even until the very end, I couldn't look away from Chiaki's final moments. Without realizing it, I had fallen to my knees. A feeling of powerlessness spread throughout my body. It's over. It just had to end. Before I could ask what I needed to ask, before I could say what I needed to say, Chiaki vanished before my eyes. And I couldn't even tell her thank you. If I had said that, would she have been comforted a little? As she was executed as a traitor, would she have been comforted a little? I don't know. My chest just hurt. Good gracious, that was such a big surprise. As for Chiaki, she regularly took on the role of point man during the class trials, as Nagito did too. And not only was she the traitor, she was Nagito's killer too. Oh well, don't worry about it. There won't be any more situations where you'll need to rely on them. Wait, does that mean... Hmm. Now that the annoying rabbit is gone as well, all of the obstacles that have been keeping us stuck on this island are completely gone. Are you serious? We can finally leave this island? Yup, congratulations. With this, I shall announce the end of the killing school trip. For you five who survived up until now, I shall give you the right to graduate. Thank you for all your hard work. Are you actually okay with that? Hmm? What do you mean? There are still two days left. If you were acting like your usual self, you would have been setting things up for another killing right away. You're right. Stop it! What are you saying? What if Mr. Monokuma changed his mind? Also, you said you five, like you were emphasizing that part. Does the number of people matter more than the remaining time? That's why 
You're saying it's the end already, even though there's still two days left, right? Huh? It matters that there are five people left? Are you planning to make a volleyball team? We need six people for a volleyball. Don't stay quiet, say something. What's your actual purpose? You're an enemy and an enemy of the Future Foundation, so what's your true identity? Hey, um... If the Future Foundation is the world ender, then I will end the new world that the Future Foundation has created. Huh? No, no. Well, you just have to look forward to the rest after the countdown ends. <laughs> that timer has almost reached zero. If it reaches zero, everything will end. The Future Foundation's lame plan will be nothing but bubbles. Hey, um... And when that time comes, you'll know everything. You'll see all of your questions answered in one go. And then you guys will find out yourselves how messed up this new world is. Hey, hey. Huh, a new world. Don't go saying crap like that all of a sudden. Yep. Well, just think of the remaining two days as the countdown reaches zero as a bonus. While you're at it, you should enjoy your life on this tropical island to the fullest. Because once you leave this island, your hopeless lives back home will be waiting for you. Just gonna just fucking laugh at me, huh? Monokuma's boisterous laughter carried on for what felt like forever. Our questions, our worries, our sadness were simply ignored. The laughter just kept going forever. As for what we did afterwards, honestly, it doesn't matter at all. I returned to my cottage for the time being and fell asleep. Even after I woke up, my will to move my body didn't come back. That's why I didn't look back on everything that happened up till now. I didn't think about what was going to happen. I just kept praying that nothing else would happen and burrowed deep into my sheets as if I were trying to hide. In doing so, I was somehow trying to endure the long. And then the sun finally set. The day feels abnormally long when you spend it praying that nothing happens. Which reminds me, I haven't heard Monokuma's announcement. I guess that isn't needed anymore. Is everything really going to end? What is everything anyway? How far, how much is everything? If we leave this island, is everything going to end? There's still so much we don't know about our school memories, the future foundation, Hope's Peak Academy, Monokuma's true purpose. Can we really end this and turn our back on that? And not just that, if we're really leaving, then where are we going? Hope's Peak? That was my last night at Jabberwock Island, at a place where my worries didn't even matter. Everything was about to end. I feel like I had a fun dream somehow. I think it was about my childhood. Because of that, I was able to face the day with a somewhat happier feeling than usual. That's right, it's the last day, according to Monokuma. Suddenly my body shuddered. Right when I opened my eyes, I was gripped by a fear that I had never felt before. A fear like I had been abandoned in this world completely utterly alone, with nobody left on this island. Kazuichi Fuyuhiko Akane Sonia. Like everyone was gone and I couldn't find them anywhere. I suddenly couldn't believe in anything, like everything in this world was nothing but lies. Ah! I rushed out of the cottage, desperate to escape that fear. I rushed out of the cottage, desperate to escape that fear. I rushed out of the cottage, desperate to escape that fear. When I left the cottage, I randomly ran into her. Hello there. Chiak! No.
We're ending it here. We're ending it here. This is where it ends. Tired. I... I don't trust this at all. I don't trust this at all. I'm in bed. So, I love you guys. Tap into the next If it wasn't clear and obvious, I just want you to know. I'm not going to sleep this. I'm not looking forward to whatever this is. I'm not looking forward to this at all. Because I just know they're playing with my heart right now. I love you.